What's up you guys? It's a new day. Today's gonna be an exciting video. Right now I'm about to go work out, but yesterday, my wallpaper came in the mail. Last night I was actually texting back and forth with an interior designer, wallpaper expert, not really sure what his position is. He was like, you know, installation is gonna cost $200. It's pill and stick, you should just do it yourself. So literally at like 11 p.m. I started putting this wallpaper up. It is done now, it looks amazing, but let me tell you guys, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. I was basically just peeling, unpeeling, fixing, adjusting for like three hours. I'm gonna stop talking about it, let's just go look at it. Oh, cute, nice, cool, yeah, oh, whoop-bam! <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, this is so nice. The lighting is a little yellow here. Now I feel like it's kind of more accurate to real life, but it's like a cool tone, dark green. I know it looks a little crazy busy, but once I have the white thing here with stuff on top, I'm gonna have like a giant mirror. So it's gonna be covering most of this wall anyways. And so it's gonna help kind of balance it out, make sure it's not too overwhelming. It also kind of helps to make this room look a little bigger, which is weird. I, I thought it would do the opposite, but it kind of like opened up this room. So I'm keeping that wall white. I'll have the pictures there, a nice mirror there. I think it's gonna be perfect. I'm so happy with it. So I'm gonna go work out and play the footage of me struggling to put this stuff on at midnight last night. So enjoy that. Look what came in the mail today. Holy shit, I'm obsessed. Let's do this. Shout out to my great friend Lexley for recommending this wallpaper at a very hard time in my life where I was very stressed out and very overwhelmed. She came in, she swooped in, she figured out what I needed for the space and would you just look at it? Also, she's really attractive. Here's her Instagram, you should check her out. She has really dope pillows and furniture. Okay, bye. A few hours have passed. I haven't been doing a great job vlogging today, but I've basically just been driving all around town. I had to go get my hair done real quick. So if you guys can tell, it's a little darker. I made it, I'm at a stoplight right now, so it'll go more red, but it's more cool toned. And then I also got kind of like my front pieces chopped. Freaking obsessed. I'm so in love with this whole combo. I did this last time. And then after that, I had to drive over to a fitting for the feature next week. My character's outfits are so cool and so crazy. She's basically just a little fashionista who wears whatever she wants. So they're all super funky and I'm obsessed. But as we all know, you know who. Got a little package in the mail. When I find something that I like, whether it's a color, a pattern, a theme, anything, sometimes I go a little overboard. <laughs> so when you guys see this, you guys are gonna be like, Claudia, stop. But this is the last thing that I am purchasing in this pattern. Technically, I only have one other thing. Hey, it's a pillowcase. I do realize, yes, I'm obsessed with leaf patterns. I'm obsessed with green, plants in general. They're freaking all over the place in this apartment. But it just makes me happy, I don't know. Oh my God, I don't know where this is gonna go yet. It honestly might even just go like on my bed upstairs. Very cute. If you guys are curious, I got the pillow from Amazon and then I got the pillowcase from Moya Boya. I got it from Etsy, that's it. You guys, I'm in such a good mood right now, it's probably gonna be annoying. So, forewarning. I just wanna sit down and talk with you guys. Lately, all my vlogs have been like, go, 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 this is what I'm doing, whatever. So last night, Rebecca came over just to pick up her birthday presents, cause we left them here. And I was kind of just like deep in my own thoughts, thinking about so many different things. And so I was like, hey, I mean like, do you wanna come over and just like talk about life? And she was like, uh, duh. I swear to God, Rebecca and I have the best conversations ever. Whether it's like a 30 minute car ride, or it's a five-hour hangout at one of our houses. I think both of us just recognize how much we can learn from each other from just sitting down and like listening to the other person. And we always just end up getting like super crazy with it and spiritual and all this stuff. So we were talking about, you know, obviously like our careers because we are very like career-driven driven girls and we talked about friendships and like communication with like the people in our lives and all this stuff. At one point in the conversation, we were kind of talking about like you guys. We both brought up the question 
question like what do we give our audience because I feel like with every single youtuber and self content creating person there's a reason why people watch your videos right it's like what are you giving them are you giving them entertainment whether it's comedy or a place to escape or drama like any source of entertainment and it's actually interesting because all of your comments and where the views are going up and down across both my channels like it's so clear when you look at it like the answers are literally right there as of lately I've made it very obvious that I don't have the time to make really cool highly edited videos on my main channel and so I can't really do that but I'm still keeping up with it but you know they're just like the basic lifestyle videos but I've also been picking up the vlog camera more often to kind of share you guys the behind the scenes of what I'm like and of the work that I put in just like my day-to-day -day stuff and if you look at the views it's crazy because you guys have been responding so well to these vlogs. All of the comments are so, so positive. I am so thankful for that and it's so awesome to see. But anyways, we're talking back and forth on like what's been working for us and stuff and it's clear that like you guys love these vlogs. It's not like I'm doing anything crazy interesting. Like it, for the most part, I'm usually alone in my vlogs working out and like going to this audition and taking this meeting and like cleaning my apartment and like whatever. And so I've realized and really noticed that a lot of your comments are talking talking about how my content motivates you. And that makes me so freaking happy because I believe so much in work ethic and staying focused and using time to your advantage and just wanting the best life for yourself and to stay curious and want to learn things and meet people and do things and like go outside and experience it all. God, this is so cheesy. What I love so much about these vlogs and how open I am to you guys, it helps to add some sort a sense of relatability because anyone could stumble across my Instagram and just be like, oh, this girl is living a great life. Look at that. Like her parents probably support her. She probably had it easy for her, all that stuff. But a lot of it is extremely hard work and like buckling down. I have days, like literally last week, I had such a weird like 48 hours of like, oh my God, how much of this is worth it because I work myself so freaking hard. I only go out with friends twice a week. I'm the worst friend. Most of my friends only see me once a month. Is is this all worth it? I have those days all the freaking time because that just, it's bound to happen if you're prioritizing your job to like the level of extreme that I personally do. But being able to show you guys what I'm doing like day to day, I would hope that it would make you guys feel motivated and feel like you can literally do the same thing. You just need to put in the time and the hours. And so I think it was cool for me to realize like I am not on the internet and vlogging and doing all of this to be like, hey guys, look at this apartment. Apartment. Look at this like cool couch that I got and these opportunities that I have and this is my life blah 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 Like the things that I'm documenting and showing you guys are like the days I'm running around town or editing all night or Spending so many hours of putting on freaking wallpaper because that is something that was important to me So that's why I've been making so many moving vlogs because yeah Like I like having this stuff pretty and it's cool for like people to walk in and be like oh cool place like very nice But like 99% of the reason and why I'm putting so much effort into this is because I want to come home and have this place feel something. So Rebecca and I were talking about that whole thing as far as like everyone questions their jobs and what they're spending so many hours towards and if it's benefiting anything or anyone on this planet. Let me know if you guys like like this kind of stuff because a lot of you are new to this channel. The last thing I ever want to be is like an aggressive preacher but sometimes these little ideas just like fill you up with so much energy that you just want to share it because it just feels so pure and good and like the fact that I I have this platform and I'm able to send along this message and have someone across the world be affected by it like that blows my mind carrying back to like what my content offers you guys like I think that's what I'm most proudest of I value so much in taking care of the relationship that you have with yourself and not doubting yourself and recognizing your capabilities how unique you are all that stuff and if I can somehow push you guys into that mindset as well as we're all getting there because I'm definitely not there but I'm trying if I'm able to help any of you guys go into that direction, then I feel like I'm doing something that is worth it for me personally. Filming this quick, just click. <laughs> oh my god. What? So many sounds just happened at the same time. I'm here to just film a quick outro. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you guys think of the wallpaper. I'm super, super happy with it. I'll actually have a link down below if any of you guys are like interested in getting it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.
拜。